The ongoing ninth edition of the Pakistan Super League PSL has reached its halfway mark, with teams fiercely contending for the coveted trophy. While each team has showcased commendable efforts, notably, the Lahore Calendars have yet to secure a victory. Despite being the defending champions, they have struggled to leave a mark on the tournament. Lahore Calendars' performance in PSL 9 has been notably poor. Marked by their consecutive losses in the initial six matches, with five of these defeats transpiring all on their home ground. Several factors have contributed to Lahore's position at the bottom of the table. In today's article, we explore the reasons behind the Lahore Calendars' losses. Inconsistent Team Composition Lahore Calendars' Performance in PSL 9 one of the primary and major issues contributing to Lahore Calendar's performance in PSL 9 is the inconsistent team composition and underperformance of key players. Though it's not over yet for the Calendars, securing a spot in the playoffs, the knockout stages of the tournament has become increasingly difficult for them. Despite having a promising PSL 9 draft on paper, the team has struggled to Find the right combination of players to achieve success on the field. Why doesn't Lahore Calendar's management consider trying Fakir Zaman in the middle order instead of persisting with him as an opener? It's evident that he's out of form in his current role. Shai Hope or Abdullah Shafiq could be more effective as openers, given their track record. Fakir has shown his ability to bat at number two in the Pakistan New Zealand series, where he performed admirably. 93 runs, 15.5 average, 102.19 strike rate. Misery continues for out of touch Fakir Zaman, who is continuously failing in the ninth season of PSL. Should calendars continue with Fakir or drop him for the remainder of PSL? Furthermore, Lahore calendars seem to be struggling with their bowling, particularly in the spin department, which has traditionally been their stronghold. In recent years, with players like Rashid Khan and Sikandar Raza. However, in the absence of Rashid, why not give a chance to a genuine spinner like Saeed Faridon? Relying solely on bits and pieces spinners like Asan Bhatti and Young Salman Fayyaz, which doesn't seem to be yielding positive results. Additionally, the underutilization of players like Sikandar Raza is perplexing and could be deemed a strategic error. Underutilization of Sikandar Raza Sikandar Raza is renowned as one of the premier all-rounders in the shorter format of the game. Recently, he received the Player of the Tournament Award in the International League T2020-24. With Rashid Khan sidelined due to injury and absent from this year's PSL, Sikandar's role has seen a significant increase. Lahore Calendar's performance in PSL 9 very much relies on Zimbabwean superstar Sikandar Raza, but management did not utilize him effectively, neither in batting nor in bowling, resulting in significant setbacks for the team. Sikandar Raza was player of the tournament. He has won 19 T20 Mom Awards in recent years, yet he came to bat at number 7 today and didn't bowl a single over. Mind-boggling decision by Calendars. Lahore Calendars' illogical strategy. In this year, Lahore relied on their local talent and did not recognize the importance of overseas players, which cost them heavily. There is no doubt that young talent is the future and inducts new energy into the team. But there are instances where experience is paramount over youthful exuberance. Salman Fayez and Asan Bhatti both have great talent, but they need time to improve so that their skills match those of international players. Lahore Kalander management, especially coach Akib Javed and captain Shaheen Afridi should learn this phenomenon make try to overcome their mistakes in the upcoming matches to stay alive in the tournament. Otherwise, Lahore will Bali fail to defend their title.